You know you like the lipstick shade when you get to like the very end of it and you're trying to put it on and you're feeling the plastic around it because it's so shallow. Not sponsored, but Ilya. Hydrating lip balm in Runaway. Recommend. Anyway, that is nothing to do with what we're doing today. I also just got my flu shot. Ta-da! Not to do with anything we're doing today. We actually have so much to do in this part. I wrote a list. Uh, number one on the list, Yasmin is about to die. I thought we had a lot of time left, but in an in-betweeny episode that I did for members, which is where we just set up for the next episode, we got the pop-up, Yasmin is running out of time. And I was like, I'm not ready for this. It is also day one of spring, so it's raining. Start of spring always rains. And it is rebate day, so I thought what we could do before anything else is spend some money. And I think it would be nice for Yasmin to do a few things before she passes away for the family. One, I thought she could gift the farm a cow from Cottage Living. I did enjoy the little animals, but... And I, and I know apparently that there are real thing, miniature lambs and, and goats, but I just find them for some reason less cool than these big cows. I think because it seems a little less realistic to me just because I've never like seen miniature ones. Um, I don't know, I'm probably the only one who like thinks that way. Everyone else is like, but they're miniature, they're so cute. Why wouldn't you want to get more of them? I don't know, I just, I feel like having a big cow to milk. What can I say? I'm cooked. So let's get this shed. How much is this? 500. That's exactly how much we need to spend. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna put it right to the fence line, I think. These logs, in case anyone is wondering, they're actually from live edit objects mode, a build sheet you can put in to get objects you usually see like in the background of the world and stuff like that. So that's just a, a little bit of information for you guys. And then I do want this to look balanced in terms of where the fence posts are. So wait, have I done a good job here? Oh, we've made it pretty wide, actually. I think I've done too good of a job with how big this is. Let's size it down a little bit. I also wanted to get one of the memorabilia boxes from Growing Together for Yasmin to hand over to, I think Persephone was technically born first, even though our twins aging is a little, as I like to say, scuffed. Okay, is this field big enough? Yeah, okay. I I think that's like the perfect size. I hope it is. I mean, I guess we'll extend it and change it if need be, but hopefully that's fine as is. And I'm gonna also copy this paddock gate. Place that there. Yay, and we're gonna have a cow and Clover can probably knit some animal clothing as well. Or should I say clovering? <laughs> uh, also, I feel like we should get rid of it. Of that, don't need it. Don't need it, don't want it. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah, as I said, Yasmin is really about to die. Like if you wanna see proof, here it is, the shining glistening age bar. So let's purchase an animal. I think we should get a brown cow just so I can say, how now brown cow? I don't even know really what that is from, hello. And what should we name you? We should name you something inspired by Yasmin. Yasmin is a great painter. Uh, level nine painting. And actually, I believe Yasmin's been working on a paint. Hello, yeah. Uh, Yasmin's actually been working on a random painting up there, which we should finish as well before she passes away. Oh, Cruz is like checking out the new cow. I love it when animals meet each other. It's so cool. Let's name the cow. Something to do with paint, painting, brush, paint, gouache, gouache. Gouache is a kind of painting. I have to Google how to spell gouache, but I like the name gouache because I like saying it. And I actually did gouache painting at university for one random class project. They got us like in first year in a graphic design course to paint with gouache. And I feel like it was one of those things at uni where you pay so much to go to uni you pay off the debt after you finish uni and some things you're like, why did they get us to do that? That's just, was that really something I needed to learn? Probably not. Nothing against gouache though, gouache is great. Okay, gouache and, oh, okay, goodbye. And let's name it uh, gouache's, ah, no, I don't know how to spell gouache. G-O-U-A-C-H-E. Gouache, gouache's house. <laughs> I was trying to think of 
<laughs> oh, what about Guash's cottage? Guash's cottage. Oh, that's bad. But we're going to do it anyway, because apparently today I'm into horrendous, horrendous puns. Okay, Yasmin, I do want you to finish your painting. Um, I, I know with Sims, obviously they, uh-oh, they can get up and down stairs fine, even as elders, but I just feel like I need to move the easel for accessibility for Yasmin anyway, because she's an elder. Okay, do you want to get some pasta? And also, Clover developed a new personality trait in the in-betweenies as well, um, active. Okay, so Clover now enjoys being active. Also, I really dislike our ranch hand, the one that we fired and then rehired and then has come back and is the exact same sim. To the point where I'm considering, can I lock them in a basement and set off fireworks and kill them off so we can hire a different ranch? Is that something I could do? Because I feel like, you know, accidents happen sometimes you know and maybe there was a tragic farm accident there was actually already one tragic farm accident with our last ranch hand who died from we believe the cold but we're actually not really sure where is our old ranch not kyle useki does it say how he died no what a bummer i don't know I just assume because there was like blizzards and he was still just an adult sim. All right, we also did in the in-betweeny for members some horse training um, just to skill up Velvet just a touch. So, because we've got to get two more master competitions. We've got three so far. I think we got two in, oh, I've forgotten. Let me just check real, oh no, I can't check now. I think we've got two in barrel racing and one in endurance. So we're yet to get our next show jumping and show jumping and western pleasure so we're level nine and everything though and we need to get to level 10 in order to complete the aspiration i also want to point out velvet does have the champion horse trait now and if we mate velvet again with cruiser hopefully velvet's foal will gain skills and the fighting spirit faster and have higher value being a champion foal also velvet's worth twenty four thousand. oh hello cruiser Wow, let's encourage Velvet to get busy with Cruiser. And we do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we do have an extra slot um, for a baby horse. And it means we'll have a lot of horses. Also, Velvet is gonna age up, I think it's seven days, but it's not listed there. It's listed down here. Days till age up is seven. So I'm like, oh my gosh, Cruiser, days till age up 18. Wow, Cruiser's like was a lot younger. I don't know how that happened. Oh, oh, nay! I feel like we might um we might be happy with what's happening here. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Yasmin, do you want to continue this painting? No, no. First, let's get the memorabilia box because this is actually something I forgot to look at in our growing together let's play of this family. So I actually don't know how this works yet, and I really would like to know how it does work. There's three to choose from. There's the Esky, which is like the more affordable one. It's still a hundred simoleons, mind you. It's actually really cute, you know, the purple and peach color. We have a plain wooden one as well, which is, you know, very nice. But I feel like the wooden one's 240, but I feel like Yasmin would go for the gold one. And I don't know, I even feel like this purple pattern purple and gold pattern even looks like Yasmin's style. So let's go with this one. And I don't know even what we have to put in here. Uh, oh, Yasmin actually did have a degree. So let's put in some of our college book. She also had a university, oh, the acceptance letter we can't put in. Can we even do anything with this? Or it's literally just for their inventories. I wish we could frame them and put them on the wall. Uh, handiness, volume one, try not to die. Maybe a little like joke after dying. Maybe pop some toys in here. These are probably from the kids at some point. We could add some seeds. It'd be nice to buy a rare seed packet, but I don't think Yasmin's skill level is high enough to buy one. Cause you're gonna have like gardening level 10, don't you? We've got cooking level 10. Do we have gardening level 10? We're running out of time. Oh, only gardening level six. So yeah, not that much. Uh, may as well put the photos in here. I think this was someone else's future cube Christmas present. I don't know why we can't put those items in. 
I mean, we could go to Hemford on Bagley and maybe try and buy a seed packet from there, but I just don't know how much time we have. So let's put this in Yasmin's inventory. And is that what opens up some other options here? It needs to be designated by an elder sim first. Okay, so once you designate it, I guess we designated it to Yasmin. Did you just break the toilet? Just replace that. Um, I love having money, so we don't even have to fix it. Ah, uh, imagine just living like that and being like, eh, whatever. Amazing. Um, ponder the meaning of family. So this is how you actually can change family dynamics with the box. Nobody knows what family means. Next time Yasmin talks to a family member, any existing family dynamics will be removed. You could do like family isn't always about getting along. So the family dynamic will change to difficult. I like the idea of family being together. So we receive a close family dynamic because from memory, I think our relationship with all of the kids is actually strict from Yasmin's point of view. Okay, so family means being together. What, is there an animation of this? Oh, oh, I don't know about this family stuff happening while we're peeing on the toilet. It doesn't mean, I don't know. Yasmin has already pondered the meaning of family and needs to give her brain a rest. Oh, well, did that change our dynamic with Persephone? Strict. Oh, maybe we need to interact with Persephone and see if anything changes. You are my favorite. Let's do an inside jerk. Whoa, yeah, whoa. Cool music. Let's turn it off. I feel like this is a serious conversation. Why are we talking about arrests? Also, Persephone has unlocked the ability to write a simple living cookbook on the computer. How did we unlock that? I'm not sure. Our relationship with Persephone has evolved. They now have the close family dynamic. Oh, okay. So we just had to interact with a sim afterwards and that's what uh, changed the dynamic. And now we are close. That is beautiful. So the Sims will naturally gravitate towards each other and develop strong positive sentiments more easily. And when socializing, they'll be able to share deep thoughts with each other more often. I think Persephone should receive the memorabilia box because Persephone, I believe technically is the eldest, even though it's changed a little bit from memory. Why is the chicken food all the way over here? I don't know. Now, Clover, I would love you to knit some clothing for our new gouache and nifty sweater yes and we could do all the chicken outfits too let's do it i think the chicken outfits work on hens and roosters i think all right so you can do that persephone um has to wait now until wednesday to sell stuff clover now enjoys exercise that's a new trait that was unlocked in in betweenies the horses have mated and I think when Persephone sells her next nectar batch to Mr. Crumpletop, Crinkletop, I think we're gonna actually complete the entire expert nectar maker aspiration. Rose still has a little bit more to go. And my plan for this Let's Play was to actually complete both of these aspirations in order to finish the Let's Play, because it's like exploring the pack. So I also wanted to ask you guys, if you think we should finish up after we complete the aspirations, which wouldn't be that far off, and then like start a new Let's Play maybe with the same family or Clover or Alpine or the other aunts and uncles. Yeah, just let me know. Or should we just continue it or do a season two? I'm all ears. And Yasmin, I would also like you to finish this surrealist painting because I feel like this is like a final gift from Yasmin as well. And actually, we don't, I don't think we have any death flowers left to harvest because, yeah, because now we're fully out of winter. We can't pick any, but we did have a couple of death flowers down here in the basement in this box, which I think crinkled, crinkle crumple top gave us. Crinkle crumple, whichever. So if we have this death flower on hand and Yasmin dies before we're ready, we can actually bring Yasmin back to life or rather save Yasmin from death with the Grim Reaper. However, because she's an elder, it's just gonna mean that she'll die pretty soon after anyway. It's not gonna age her back or anything. And yeah, we have Vitality Nectar, so we should keep, we could keep her going for longer, but I don't know. I feel like the natural course of life is okay. We did bring back Dee Dee already, so we've kind of seen how that works. And I like um, I like the generations moving forward. I don't think you can get to this easel, can you? No. See, I tried to help by bringing this downstairs, but you don't want the help 
D. Oh, we finished the knitting project. Okay, we do not have any room for this. What about if I put it here? I know this seems like an awkward spot, but does that work? I also took down the Christmas decorations in in betweenies as well. Feeling inspired. So Yasmin did complete this painting or start this painting, sorry, on her own terms. I didn't actually instruct her to do anything. And Rose, can we get you to head to bed? Because I want you to be in such an incredible mood tomorrow so we can hopefully win gold at Masters. We, yeah, we've won three Masters, like I said. So we've got to win the other two. Rebat, rebate day was successful, yes, because we did go shopping, which we love. Rose is sleeping upstairs because Yasmin... Uh, was given the bedroom. You know, being an elder, you need it to be on the ground floor level with a toilet nearby. That's really good. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is kind of, this is a lot uh, for a final painting by Yasmin because it kind of looks like Yasmin's surrendering, like the figure in the painting is surrendering to the heavens, you know, or going to the dream space. Okay, that's a lot. Um. Wow, is it gonna be a masterpiece? It it could actually be. <laughs> Ooh, that is a lot. I think it would be fun to go and head go to Hemford on Bagley and maybe get a few things. Hey, I thought we put Oh no, those photos of Clovis. I was gonna say, I thought we put those in the memorabilia box. I don't think we have any pictures of Yasmin with Kyle, sadly. I don't think so. What is this picture? Uh, oh, that's Rose and Kyle. And they're a bit older. Yeah, no, I don't think we have... I just let out check, because that would have been sweet. Uh, nope. Nope. Nothing in here of interest, I don't think. Oh, Corvus High School portrait. I mean, we could go to Yasmin's house. And gr no, I don't think we can even take the stuff from the house. Okay, this is a lot. I don't know. I feel like this is a bit, a bit much. It's not... I don't know if I'd call that uplifting for Yasmin's final picture. But it certainly is... How do I put it? It's significant. It is very significant. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. Okay, Velvet, are you sleeping? Also, Persephone, I need you to get a good night's rest too. Clover, we'll get you to sleep as well. We'll put the cow outfit on tomorrow. Velvet, where are you? Oh, please get a good night's rest, Velvet, and we will resume in the morning. What is wrong with these horses? Oh, they're just needing some fun. Also, another thing to note, Persephone did get through her midlife crisis randomly in the in betweeny part two. I didn't actively do anything. It just seemed to pass. So I don't know. I think we just kind of got lucky with that. All right, Rose, how are you doing? Let's get you in tip top shape for the day. And we're going to go downstairs, take care of National Velvet. I don't remember the movie, but I kind of remember the movie, if that makes sense. Like, I used to watch National Velvet all the time when I was a kid, but I don't really remember the storyline or what happens. I know Elizabeth Taylor was in it, and then her character had to, I think, pretend to be a boy in order to do the horse riding, and maybe something tragic happens. I can't remember. All right, how are we doing, Velvet? Energy, excellent. Fun, excellent. Social, excellent. Excellent. Okay, everything's looking fairly good. Are you in your pajamas? You are always in your grilled cheese pajamas, Rosa. We love it. Get into this outfit. Yoo-hoo! Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of a coat brush, clean the hooves. Let's also do a hand feed just to get the um, hunger up. And yeah, I really want to get through these competitions pretty quickly because I don't think Velvet can compete after he's an elder. I don't, I don't fully know. I don't think so. Uh, you could actually have a little bit more food. Okay. Okay. And a little bit more hygiene could be good. These masters, you really have to get your sim and horse needs quite high up in order to win. I'm even nervous about the hunger situation right here for Rose, even though usually it's fine. Could maybe we have a couple of apples or something? I just want to get it, the needs, as high up as possible. God, that's such a satisfying crunch sound. Wow, it doesn't fill you up much. I guess apples typically don't. Okay, do you need fun? Hygiene and hunger is still good. Is that, oh, probably because we're like standing on a dirty bed. I don't want to leave it too much longer, you guys. Because the longer we leave it, the more the moods go down. What's going on here? Why is this like all glitchy? 
Okay, we just, I think we just had a few routing issues, but I'm just stressed about it because I, I don't want the needs to go down too quickly. Okay, we're still ever so slightly hungry. Worth it to um, just feed them a little bit more. Okay, he's ready to go. He's full excellent. Let's do this. Let's enter the competition. So we've done barrel racing. We've done, we've got a gold masters in endurance. So up next is gold in show jumping. Hopefully. And I think we should be able to get it. It costs $1,000 to enter, but we will make that back. Oh, we just finished painting a masterpiece. Who did? Oh, so this is Yasmin's new last hurrah painting. Impression. Oh, wow. It really is the last painting. I mean, I think this is more uplifting than the last, but it's very expressionistic. I don't know if I'd call that a masterpiece, but then again, art is subjective. Oh, Yasmin. Your long life has come to an end, but maybe we should give a death flower just to buy you just, just a little bit more time so maybe we can get a rare seed packet. Oh, what happens if we can't get... Oh no, we might not be able to get to Grimm to give the death flower because of where Yasmin decided to pass away, which is interesting because it's kind of like Yasmin saying, no, 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 it's my time to go. Do not intervene. Maybe... Oh no. Oh no. See how it just keeps getting canceled out? You can't get up there. Persephone okay. cannot get up there. Oh gosh, no, Yasmin's gone. Oh, we didn't even give the box to Persephone, did we? No! Oh no. Eh. Quickly get the box out of the inventory. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair, we had a plan. Oh, that's sad. Oh, that's so sad. This is becoming our family's graveyard over here. Silver? Silver? What? I'm sorry, but that is not fair. I don't think, like, they're neat. Oh my gosh, you know what it is? Oh my gosh, I know what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. It's completely my fault. I forgot to get Velvet into a confident mood. I was so focused on the needs. Ah, oh, Deli, we're running out of time, girl. Oh. Uh, I feel like no one's like that upset. Oh my God, Persephone isn't even that upset that her mom just passed away. You know, everyone deals with grief differently. Love the chickens being indoors. Let's just pay the bills quickly. Okay, well, Yasmin, oh, Alpine's calling to chat. Yeah, sure. Maybe we should start writing that simple li living book because we can, simple living cookbook. I believe that helps raise Sim's cooking skill level more quickly if they then read it. I can't believe Yasmin didn't let us give her the death flower. She set it, she set it up that way. Uh, but let's call it Persephone's Simple Living. Persephone's Simple Living Cookbook. This book can be used to gain tremendous amounts of cooking skill. Now that'll be handy to pass down in the family. So what happens with this memorabilia box? Can we even open it? I mean, we can, we just didn't actually get to give it formally to the Sims. Um, I mean, at least we were left with this masterpiece painting. That's really nice. Do not go near Velvet Grim. Yeah, Velvet, get away. Get away while you can. And actually may as well skill up Velvet. Um. Oh gosh, Twinkle and Cruiser are not in great moods. Let's maybe go for some temperament training. And yeah, goodbye, Grim. I'm annoyed at you because you wouldn't take my death flower. So rude. Clover likes cooking. Yes. Yes, you do like cooking. Okay, so you need some fun, Cruiser. Um, can you actually play with this whilst you're yeah. potentially pregnant? Also, how do we know if the horse is pregnant? I think it's something to do with you can't edit them and create a sim or you can't. There's a way of checking. I think it's in create a sim if you can't dress them. I'm just going to give Twinkle a little attention from Persephone and Clover. I would like you to see to gouache. Let's refill the feed and call over gouache. Gouache, gouache, gouache. Oh, poor gouache. Needs a bit of a clean. Oh yes, you're a good girl. Normal milk today. Mm -hmm. Aw, there you go, Gwashi. And then let's put you in your new little outfit. It's gonna look so cute. You're gonna look so pretty and gorgeous. Yes, you do. Oh, yes. Gwash loves it. Yes, you look so fabulous. 
Good job, Clover. Yeah, good job. Okay, so did you finish your book already? Because if you did, that was really quick. Surely not. Did the computer break? I feel like I can hear a broken computer. You broke the computer, Persephone? And it's Clover's computer. Okay, we'll let you see Twinkle first because I feel like that's more important. Also, how much milk do we have in here? We've got plenty of eggs. Milk made by Agnes Crumplebottom. Interesting. Oh, we're actually all out of milk. Well, lucky we have a cow, I'm just saying. Once Clover's finished food, let's maybe start knitting some clothing for the chickens. I really love this blue hat. Uh, and then maybe after that, if she has time, we can do the sweater with the hearts. All the animals are gonna end up, oh, there's chicken food in here as well. They're all gonna end up with outfits. And I guess our ranch hand decided not to come today. Nothing is clean. I think we should also harvest everything and then put it all in the fridge. Yay, level two gardening. Oh, and Persephone finished finished her book. That's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. I feel like we should put the book in this because it's like a magical book, basically. Only an elder sim can use, use this too. Okay. So we got three hens and two roosters. Gotta love that simple living. I mean, do you unlock? The ability to write a simple living cookbook from having a simple living lot trait and level 10 cooking skill maybe. Maybe that's how it works. How'd you go Clover? Did you finish? Yay, we got a chicken outfit. That is so cute. Okay, if I give it to Rose, can Rose dress? I, I really feel like no one was that upset about Yasmin. I, it's so weird, but I think, oh yeah, let's put the little hat on. I feel like Yasmin lived a really nice life was very content was ready to go because you know she got to move back to the farm be with all the animals and her kids so it was really nice oh you look fabulous looks so good yes you do uh oh careful of that careful there okay oh lord what happened here through the day okay we gotta go clean that shed oh we have a friend marissa tracy is here Yay, hi, let's do a howdy introduction. And also evolve some of these. Wow, magnificent quality. Oof. What's above magnificent? Is it pristine? Oh no, it's perfect. This strawberry bush is perfect quality. I'm so excited we have a friend. That's, that's nice. Can you play with this ball, Velvet? Can you play with the ball to get your fun up? Come on, Velvet. Give it a go. Oh, wait, is this our new ranch hand? No, Marissa's just, just helping. Just helping in general. Clover's like so into sport now. I don't know if this ball works anymore. I think we just have to keep buying new ones. Just regularly. You know, you just gotta get a new one every week. Oh, we finished another chicken outfit. Okay, of course, because we're doing push-ups now. So I guess we finished what we set out to do. There we go. Okay, chickens. Who should wear the next outfit? I think, well, let's be honest. Agatha and Chick Chick are probably about to die. So let's pop it on the white hen. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh, it's horrible. I think it's a way of dealing with the trauma of them dying. Okay, let's put your little outfit on. I know it's very dark, so it's a little hard to see, but you do look amazing. And let's call you, let's call you, oh, Alice is kind of cool. It's like Alice in Wonderland with the Queen of Hearts, with the hearts on the sweater. What about the Queen of Hearts? I wonder what the Queen of Hearts real name is. I wonder if they have a real name. Probably. You look amazing. You look so good. I don't know if anyone's even shed one tear about Yasmin. Ugh, I'm kind of like, wow. <sighs> oh, actually we should check and see if the horses, I'm just gonna quickly let Rose know this is their bedroom again. Um, we should go into create a sim and see if Cruz is pregnant. Oh, okay, Clover's now feeling sad. Yeah. Oh my gosh, a horse toy snob from horse refusing to play. That's funny. That's a good little moodlet. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Will Cruiser be pregnant? Let's see. Can you... I don't even know what it is. It's like they can't wear stuff. Oh, maybe it didn't work. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure Cruiser's like 
able to be edited still. Okay, we must breed them again. Maybe it didn't work the first time. I'm pretty sure the way you tell if a horse is pregnant is if they can wear a saddle. Seek emotional support. Ah, a missing mom. Maybe we'll feel a little bit better from chatting to Twinkle. I mean, I found when I was really sick and struggling a few months ago, grooming Bowser, like brushing him, because my dog Bowser has long hair, was really therapeutic for me. I found that to be very helpful. So I think there is something about like taking care of animals is very healing. We need to clean these beds. Lord knows the ranch hand weren't. Oh no, don't sleep on the dirty bed. <laughs> oh dear. Let's assign this bed to Velvet instead. Okay, we're gonna try this competition again and remember to make Velvet confident. Oh man. I forgot about this. Wasting all the food. Okay, I'm gonna put all of these vegetables and things in the fridge because we do have to keep up with the simple living life. We've got to put the food in the fridge or the ingredients. Oh, good morning, Queen of Hearts. Hello, hello. Love it when you come inside. Yes. Oh my gosh, Velvet's in an incredible mood. If we can just have breakfast real quick and then wake up Velvet, maybe Velvet will still be in a good mood and we can go and get that master gold. If we do not get a gold today, I'm gonna be absolutely crushed. Okay, we've eaten. We're gonna go pee -pees. Oh, okay, hunger's gone down just a touch. We're gonna need to harvest some prairie grass. Wait, why are you eating more? You've already eaten. You're already full. Okay, needs arguably basically full. Get that prairie grass. That's it, Rose. Wait, where'd the horse go? Velvet? Hey, Velvet, let's uh, let's get you cleaned up. There you go, a little bit of hygiene. Beautiful. Now we've just got to get you feeling confident. And to do that, we've just got to encourage training. Hey, it's nice seeing all the horses together. Encourage that training. Maybe we need to do it again, because apparently Velvet's in a bit of a mood today. Don't do this to me, Velvet. Okay, I'm a little bit worried because it's not an option. Okay, Clover can encourage training, so maybe Clover needs to do that. What? I don't understand why we can't get Velvet into a confident mood. Let's try encourage training again. Oh, thank God. Okay, Velvet is now feeling really good. All right, all right. So we're confident. Needs are, are excellent. I don't see how we won't get gold, okay? So let's do master show jumping Velvet. Yes. Oh, I'm nervous. I put a lot of a lot of expectation on winning this because we're just, we don't have a lot of time and the other horses aren't trained up. It would take a long time to train the other horses up to that level to get the other master's medals. So yeah, we should plant another rose here or a death flower, the death flower that she wouldn't let us give her. That's kind of weird, isn't it? But it's kind of cool. It's kind of like dark, but I like it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm crazy. Oh, I forgot about Mr. Crinkle Top. I guess we may need to hire another ranch hand again. Maybe if we hire again, we'll get a new one. I mean, James said he gets different ranch hands every time. You have got to be kidding me. How did we get a bronze medal? Is this, I feel like this is not fair. Like, I feel like this is broken because the needs were full. Our skills are full. Velvet was confident. How are we getting bronze? This is not funny. I'm running out of time. Jeez. Not happy. I mean, I'm sure if we're level 10, it'll give a higher likelihood of winning too. Okay, we've just hired a new ranch. So we'll see how we go. Okay, Velvet, off to training. Let's get some more temperament training. Okay, I think the cow is dirty every day. Apparently cows need cleaning every day. No, it's Amy the ranch hand. Actually, Amy is working today, so I'm quite happy with that. Okay, that is quite good. Um, and then we'll also milk gouache too. Oh Milking the cow. Isn't that great? I've always wanted to milk a cow, but I've never milked one. Can all these bees follow you all the way over here? Oh dear. Oh, Cruz is keen. Well, you know what? Stay keen because we can try and make a baby later. How many bottles of milk do you get per cow? Six. That's another thing. You get more bottles from a bigger cow. What's spoiled in here? Hmm. I don't know what's spoiled in the fridge. I guess Persephone, you could clean that out. Hey, stop knocking our bin over. Ah, oh, this ranch hand. I mean, at least she looks after the horses, but like this is just really inappropriate. That's really inappropriate. Is that the one bronze that we actually need? No. 
Uh, West, see, I wouldn't be that mad about Western pleasure bronze because we actually need that. Actually, may as well keep trying for that Western pleasure because apparently it doesn't matter how good a mood you're in. Oh, we're past competition time because it's 8, 8 p.m. It's quite light and quite bright at the moment. Uh, Persephone, do you want to maybe go for a bit of a, go for a bit of a fish? See if you get get some fish for Taka. Oh, we should get the um. Oh no, 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 no! Don't chase away the turtle. Allow turtles to sun. Yeah, there we go. I thought that wasn't allowed yet. Look at our turtle. Turtles is they're just so beautiful. I love this. I love this pond. Very pretty. All right, Velvet. How did that training go? Did we get a little bit of a boost in temperament? Excellent. So the next thing we have to really focus on is jumping. Uh, how are you going? You're low in hunger. Let's just hand feed you. And then let's make a baby. We're gonna make a horse baby. It's gonna be a foal. Do you think they need to be in a good mood? Because Cruiser's uncomfortable right now. Let's take Cruiser for a ride. A little bit of a night ride. Because I think that does help horse fun. Okay, the fun actually isn't going up. So let's maybe come back and go to the trusty Trusty beach ball. Oh, Twinkle beat us to it. Okay, Cruiser, here you go. I couldn't find anything in lessons. It is a beautiful spring day on our farm and Clover is aging up in only one day. I feel like it was just yesterday that Clover aged up to a young adult, so yeah. Wow. And also Clover's been up all night, I was gonna say cooking, knitting outfits for the chickens. It's sweet. She's just sitting with Persephone as Persephone sleeps. She's about to think about a family member. Okay, so we've got a rooster outfit. Oh, hey, you, Velvet. Seek emotional support. Velvet has a good muzzle to cry on. Clover feels better now. Oh. All right, which chicken needs a little outfit? Or rooster. Is anyone inside? Actually, where are all the chickens? Oh, they're all over the place. Okay, who's this? Apple. Apple, why don't you have this gorgeous cried outfit? And who's this? Chick Chick? Chick Chick, do you want to have uh, this little hat? Oh yes, you look fabulous. Okay, and then Clover, I think you really do deserve to get some rest now. Keeping an eye on this ranch hand. Hmm, I just don't trust them. They're probably gonna like steal stuff from our house. Persephone's looking gorgeous in this matching set. And then I guess Persephone, after you have some food, maybe you should bake a cake for Clover. Clover, you really need to have a rest. Okay, the ranch hand seems to look after the animals. You gonna look after our cow as well, our gouache. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna, I'm not gonna kill off the ranch hand yet because it appears they are doing some stuff. Velvet needs a little bit of fun. Actually, does making a baby, like encouraging mating, give them any fun? I mean, probably not because isn't it only humans and dolphins who have fun getting busy? I read that somewhere. Oh my God, Velvet. I didn't mean the ball, I meant cruiser. Encouraged to breed with cruiser. Cruiser. Hey, Alpine. Actually, do we even have ingredients to bake a cake? Oh, we do. That's lucky, a honey cake, beautiful. Did they breed? I just love it when the horses and the cows are in the same pen. Oh, there we go. Here's some more fireworks. Excellent. Well, I guess we should try for another competition. I'm not gonna get my herps up this time because of what happened last time. Just saying, just saying. All right, let's go for a master and show jumping again. I mean, maybe we should go on for Western pleasure because we haven't increased our jumping skill much. Oh, the honey cake. Was that ever baked? Aha, uh -huh. yeah, it's some birthday candles. Yay, there we go. All right, can have a little, little party. And wait, isn't it Persephone who can actually throw a charity event? It's about amazing, amazing reputation. Silva, <laughs> so salty, so salty. Right, tomorrow I'm gonna go to the shop and pray that we have an age down treat for Velvet, otherwise, we're not gonna, we're not gonna get the golds in time before Velvet ages up. It's just not gonna happen. Velvet, please go to jumping lessons. And you know what? Why don't we just enter a competition to try and get that bronze? What is the bronze we need that is also equally difficult to get? Uh, barrel racing. We need a barrel racing bronze. Okay, so we're lacking a few skills here. So I think we would either get bronze or no place. And uh, then maybe we should just enter Twinkle as well, just to see if we can get a bronze. May as well. 
you never know. We might just get that handy dandy bronze that we want. Uh, silver, okay. How's it possible that we get a silver when we don't even have like close to the skills we need? I feel like it's not quite right that shooting in this game. Or oh, it, 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 it focuses a lot on luck too. Maybe, maybe that's the thing. Maybe it is like about luck too. Okay, let's see if we can have a charity event for Clover's birthday. Oh, we're expecting a fall. Yes, we actually got some good news despite all of these losses. That's exciting. Horsey time. Woo, you. Charity benefit party. Because of our reputation. Um, a gold level reward includes a charity trophy, would look nice in our house, and a sizable boost to the reputation and fame of the sim in attendance. Okay. Sometimes you get socialites who wish to make positive public appearances, of course. It's always about the simoleons being raised for a good cause. So our host is Persephone. The guests, I mean, oh, Jun aged up. It's awkward we still have romance with them though. I mean, I don't know. I guess we can invite everyone, but we're not inviting Leo. I don't want to invite Amy. Tamati, Agatha. Well, we can invite a lot of Sims. Oh, well, we have to invite our, our family members. Okay, I'm sorry, Winter Wayne and Lloyd. You guys don't make the guest list. Rain? Wasn't Rain our like our second boyfriend in high school? Rain was our high school high school sweetheart, which is kind of nice. Okay, we have to be able to invite Agnes and Amaya. Do we want a caterer? Yeah, let's get a caterer. Uh, we don't have a bar on the lot, but yeah, sure, Winter, that can be your ticket. Oh, I don't think we can have it here. Wait, I have to, Kyle Kyleson can come as the comedian? Invite all of the required roles. Oh, cause I didn't have a host, right? That's weird if Kyle comes, but let's see. <laughs> All right, we need to collect 10,000 in donations for charity. Whoa, we need to grab a drink, flirt with someone. Okay, I think we need to get a bar. Wait, but can grabbing a drink be from... Oh my gosh, we're getting really dressed up for this. Um, wow, Persephone looks stunning. So does Clover. Oop. And Rose, you know, you look like the Rose we love, loving the ranch music. Uh, we've got a cardboard dance floor, so why don't we put that down? I don't know if Sims can use it here, but we can try. And let's get out some of our best nectar, shall we? Uh, well, maybe not the best, because we want to sell <laughs> some of it. Um, oh wow, this is like all finely aged. Holy moly. <gasps> Vitality Nectar is worth 14,000 simoleons. Whoa, whoa. Okay, whatever. We have so much expensive nectar here. I'm just gonna, whatever. It's for charity, okay? We're gonna get out some good bottles. Who's this? Oh, Alpine, you look great in your prom outfit. Okay, is the bartender gonna pour servings or maybe we should get that started? Okay. Oh my God, Rain is looking at Persephone like, it's been so long, Persephone. You look so wonderful. Request a large donation. I mean, he likes us, so we should try. <laughs> and we should flirt with him too. Why not? Why not get a little flirty? Wait, where'd he go? Look at all of this beautiful wine. Well, Clover, should we do a howdy introduction? Jesus, that football sound is so jarring. Polite introduction. Amy, I see, is just hanging around, even though there was not the invitation. Is this Kyle? I think Kyle's here. I love how Rose just did not get dressed up at all. Dag Dag, lovely to meet you. And we already start with pretty green friendship because we are a polite sim. Um, but I think actually Persephone can only ask for the donations. So let's ask for a large donation. So would you give me a large donation? You know, we go back so far, Rain. Do we get anything? We've got 2000, which is pretty good. Offer Rose. I mean, it's kind of cute them being back in contact again and having a bit of flirtation. Rain seeing the farm, I kind of like it. We've got 4,000 in donations, that's great. What about our family, our family members? Can you give some of, <laughs> can you give some of Yasmin's money? Oh my gosh, Mrs. Crumple ass is hitting us, why? Oh, cause we were flirting with Rain. We're not flirting with you, Agnes. Can we request more donations? It's actually quite hard to raise 10 grand. Kyle, thanks for coming. Let's ask Kyle for a donation. How much can Kyle give us from the underworld? 
Actually, no, he would have gone to heaven. Okay, while we're here, Clover, do you want to blow out... Oops, do you want to blow out the candles? Also, no one made any food for everyone, so this is kind of awkward. I guess we never got a chef. Oh my gosh, Carla is wearing the same outfit. Oh, Marissa's wearing the same outfit too. 6,000? 6,000, that's pretty good. Are you trying to get fresh with me, young woman? Take that cheek somewhere else. I wasn't trying to. Yay, we got 10,000. Hey! Mrs. Crumplebottom thinks everyone is flirting with her, but we're like, no. I don't know what happened to the chef. Maybe we should order some pizza or something. Clover and Alpine are jokesters. Yeah, I love that. Okay, I'm just gonna order some uh, Canadian pizza. And Clover, you can blow out the candles here. Okay, Clover's an adult, you guys. Oh, still looking as... Wonderful as ever, hasn't aged a day. Is that pizza? Pizza? Oh, that's so funny. Kyle's like haunting the wine. Well, I think we absolutely smashed our charity event. So Persephone's gonna get a little bit of fame, I think. And we got our first crumple bottom. You never forget the first time that purse hits you. Mm. Christine reputation is where we're at and we're actually unknown celebrity right now. That looks like a beautiful cake made by Persephone. The Clover's already asleep in bed. Yep, getting old. Did our pizza ever arrive? Oh, the side door. Oh, I don't see it anywhere. Where's our pizza? What a successful charity event. Yay! I'm so excited for our trophy. Oh, we didn't get any celebrity stars, but we did get maybe a bit more reputation. Well, at least we had the cake to eat. Not ideal. We got scammed by the pizza place. I love that Kyle's doing a painting. That's very cool. Oh, there's the pizza! I mean, you only came how late? You came so late. Thank you. Ah, uh, finally. I wonder what a Canadian bacon pizza is. I'm like thinking, is it bacon and maple syrup? I'm pretty sure I've asked this question before. Oh well, better late than never. Thank you. Ah, what a nice charity event. And I can't believe you're an adult now, Clover. Hey, Yasmin came out for Clover's birthday. That's nice. She got a visit from both her dad and her mom. I'm gonna remember to put that in the fridge. We'll so fix that. Yay. All right, it is Friday morning. And today's the day that I think we will complete the nectar making aspiration. And whilst we're out in town, I think we should also see if it's possible to buy any horse treats. We have a random mushroom on the floor. Um, because... Like I said, otherwise, Velvet, we don't actually have enough time to complete all the horse competitions now. I mean, unless we got gold for the next two masters and then the final one over the next three days, which I highly doubt. Oh, thank you for picking up the bin you knocked over. Okay, well, maybe because Amy wasn't invited to the party, Amy realizes that Amy was wrong. <laughs> Here you go, my stallion. Excellent, 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 excellent. Well... We may as well go for the competition. Can we get you into a confident mood, Mr. Velvet? Not yet. Try again. Okay, Velvet's in a confident mood. Let's just, maybe we'll try and go for gold in the Western Pleasure this time, because I don't know, maybe we'll have better luck. We really have to get gold. We really do. Oh, and also with Persephone. Oh my God, Persephone is in desperate need of fun. Is there someone you can woohoo with real quick? Give a love day gift. Why don't you give some beige wool to Tamati? We love Tamati. Tamati, here's some beautiful wool from one of our mini sheeps that died. Have a little bit of flirtation. It's nothing like a little flirty flirt. It's nice. It's not the first or the last ranch hand we'll flirt with probably. <laughs> All right, let's collect all the finely aged nectar to sell. And you guys, this is going to be a pretty big payday, I think. And I know Persephone really needs to have some fun. Actually, what are Persephone's likes? Because whatever your sim likes can increase their fun. Oh my god, we actually got gold? Okay. Well, my spirits have been lifted that we got gold. Jeez, maybe if we can't age down, we could just make it. Maybe. And this is our charitable axe trophy. I'm very proud of this trophy. Where can we put it? Um, 
Hmm, up here. I feel like if anything, maybe it should be behind the glass, yeah. Can we put the chicken up there? No. We'll just put the, the chicken here on the counter. We have a lot of random things in this house. Put the chicken there next to the, the lemons. I can't believe we actually, like that actually worked. Wow. Can we get a bronze in the others? Try more barrel racing. And uh, let's head into town. I think we've got, holy moly, we have a lot of finely aged nectar in here. We're gonna head into the town into the ranch town. Maybe we should invite Rain with us. Maybe Rain was like interested in learning about nectar as well. And Rain said, hey, can I come with you to meet Mr. Crinkletop? Just because he wanted to see her on love day. Let's do a little sweet talk. Oh, and Mr. Crinkletop would be so jealous that Persephone's there with another man, but hey, he missed out. She has some Love Day spirit. I love this. Actually, does it say that they were high school sweethearts? Wait, let's see. Does it mention that? Lovers, social bunny friends, best friends, boyfriend. Oh my gosh, we have been his girlfriend since school. He thought we were his girlfriend all of these years. Maybe it's a joke between them. They're like, uh, we never broke up. So technically we're still together. Kind of weird though. Oh dear. You've been so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you. Oh, well, that's sweet. All right, let's go to the goods store. And Crinkle Top is here. Um, we can sell the nectar as well. Are there any treats for horses? <laughs> there is the age up treat, which obviously is not what we want. It can be fed to a foal to instantly age up. That might be handy if we want to age up our foal right away. I don't think there's an age down treat though. Oh. <sighs> Can we give our horses anything else to age them down? Like, oh, no metal. I don't know. Okay, I got a, a lot for you today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the most we've ever sold nectar for, I think is just over 4,000 simoleons. So if we can beat that, um, that's our record. Our energy nectar is worth 4,800. Um, and the grape nectar is now 5,000 simoleons. And I actually think that's because our grapes are such high quality, the plants are. So that's good to see that that definitely works. Um, one is almost 6,000 simoleons, so that is crazy. Oh my God, we're gonna make like $100,000 from this. Strawberry nectar is worth almost, well, five and a half thousand, 5,600. This isn't even the vitality nectar, which, I think is valued at 18,000 at the moment. Whoa, aspiration completed, yay. Oh my Lord. So the trait we earned is a nectar know-it-all. These Sims can craft pre-aged nectar, have an iron bladder when it comes to drinking nectar and their negative emotions have less influence on their current mood. Not a bad aspiration trait. They can craft pre-aged nectar. I'm really curious to see how that works. Whilst we're here, I think we should also, um, again, try and go for that bronze. Oh wait, we need a horse. Who just entered a competition? I've forgotten. Okay, it's not letting me enter. I think to go here, they want you to, I sneezed, they want you to actually mount the horse maybe. I know it's not working. Maybe let's just go home and do it from there. Yay, we're gonna need a new aspiration. What does, what does she wanna do now? Become a mansion baron because we have so much money from all of our nectar. Yeah, I feel like Persephone's just made it. So it's kind of like Persephone doesn't need to aspire to have any more money, I don't think. We should invite Rain over for some hanky panky. Oh, Clover is cheerful. That's nice. I really want Clover to meet someone. Is there anyone online? You know, we're a little bit remote here. Maybe we could find a pen pal <laughs> to meet for Clover. It's hard to meet people when you're in the country. Okay, where's our hanky panky? I've posted on the pen pal forums now to wait and see if anyone responds. Oh. Okay, we've got two days to win everything. <laughs> also, just a reminder, oh wait, Clover. Wrong sim. I was gonna say, reminder Clover's a high school dropout, but Clover's living the good life on the farm, so Clover did not need school. Temperament, agility, jumping, endurance. We gotta get all of these, so let's go. Let's go for an intense ride, complete that endurance, max that endurance, and then 
After that, we're gonna be doing some, yes, we've, we've got level 10 endurance, beautiful. Let's do some intense power racing. Oh, Mr. Hanky Panky, Jun, we're not interested in you, is helping us in the garden. That's so beautiful. Oh God, he's being attacked by bees, that's not great. We have a little uh, hanky panky. Try for baby! Let's maybe go for a way here. Okay, racing some barrels right now. Did you guys have a hanky panky? Oh, the hanky panky's happening. Okay, let's see if we met any potential pen pal suitors. Oh God, the pillars. Check for pen pal replies. Oh, new pen pal from Riverview. Wait, does that mean, I don't know if we actually get to meet any pen pals or if we just get postcards. <gasps> Cruz is bursting, you guys. Cruz has gone into labor. Okay, also celebrations are happening. Why is Rose celebrating? Is that from Cruiser or Love Day? Okay, Cruiser is kind of hiding behind the trees, which I think is kind of realistic for when animals give birth. I think sometimes they feel vulnerable, so they go into hiding to give birth. Okay, soothe horse and labor, guys, we wanna help. Oh, baby number two. Oh, I really value that we spend time together, that's nice. Oh, it's kind of like when you use a Pilates ball during pregnancy at the hospital, they say if you bounce, like it can help the baby come out. I, I've heard that from a few of you guys, so maybe it's the same thing with a horse. Oh, now we're eating in the stable. Okay, we love a good appetite. Oh wow, we're really good at appetite. We need to refill the feeder. It's okay, Cruza. Okay, Twinkle, too close. Too close. Cruza's moving around so much, it's stressing me. <laughs> Reached agility level 10. Yay, Velva. Good. Whoa, you do look agile. Oh, the baby's here. Yay. Here it comes. Imagine if they did the animation where the sim would be like pulling the foal out of the mama horse. Here it comes, here it comes. Yay, Cruiser gave birth to a foal. Oh, what would you like to call her? Ooh, name. Hmm, what about kombucha? Which is the kind of drink I'm drinking. I'm not sure about my name choices. Gouache and kombucha? A little strange. Kombucha Taylor or Elizabeth Taylor. Maybe we should go Elizabeth Taylor because of velvet, you know. Wow, beautiful. Oh, breedable trait. Congratulations on the birth of your new foal. Elizabeth has gained the unique breedable trait. Champion jeans, yes. Oh, that is just so beautiful. We got champion jeans and hardy. Elizabeth Taylor. Oh, look at all of our, oh, look at all of our horses. Little Elizabeth Taylor. So cute. All right, I'm just giving uh, Velvet some more temperament skill by grooming. So close to level 10. Yay, level 10 temperament. So the last skill for us to level up in is jumping. Velvet did do a bit of jumping last night, so we're almost there. Actually that, wait, this list hasn't even updated yet. Oh, there we go. So how are they feeling? Could maybe have a little bit more grass. Cause we've just got to get one more gold for masters. Although Rose's mood is not great. Like I don't want to enter the competition yet. Let's get Rose to have a sleep. Maybe we can just do some more jump training. Sure, Persephone can direct. Not the barrels. Let's get Persephone to add advanced jumps and then direct Velvet to practice over here whilst Rose has a nap. And then with a bit of luck, we'll be able to enter a competition shortly because we have until 7 p.m. tonight. Aw, Clover likes affection because Persephone gave Clover such kind attention. Aw, Clover's such a nice sim. They're like cheerful and happy and just wholesome. All right, I think Rose can get up now. Have a Caesar salad. And then let's see how Velvet's going. Jumping skill level's very good. Maybe slightly hungry. Uh, could do with some more fun. Okay, Velvet's like refusing to do what I say. So, and we're running out of time. I think Velvet's just gonna have to enter the competition not in crazy excellent mood which is unfortunate. And they've started jumping again. I told them to stop. You guys, I just, ah, uh, the game was glitching so much. I, could, I couldn't get Velvet to the competition in time. <sighs> 
so sad. We've run out of time, I think. Velvet. That's so, that sucks so bad because Velvet will be maxed out in everything and just not have enough time to enter the competition because they age up in two days. Well, we'll just train Velvet up to level 10 just in case we can make it, but I'm not sure if we will be able to, which sucks because then we have to get another horse to max every single skill, which takes ages. Okay, hey, we've almost maxed it. Yay! Well done, Velvet. What a horse. And you've definitely earned a good rest. So do stop training. Like, stop training for real, please. Please. Oh, Chick Chick's time has come. Chick Chick is, is going to the Chick Chick heaven. I think Grim's having a tough time taking Chick Chick to Chick Chick heaven because Grim doesn't even want to do the reaping. Okay, guys, today's the day. Today's the day that uh, we're going to get our next Masters. Riz is in a great mood. How's Velvet going? Velvet is pretty good. Let's go encourage some training and just go for it. The game's being really glitchy for me, as you can see over here. Oh dear. Okay, but Velvet is feeling confident, so let's go for it. Let's enter this competition. Um, the only one we haven't got a gold master in is show jumping, so let's do it. Gouache has been unhappy for a while. Oh no. Poor Gouache. Don't worry, Persephone's gonna help out. Persephone's gonna help out even before Persephone eats. Yay! Okay, well, we won gold. This is so crazy because we only have to place at the ultimate horse championship and then we finish. We finish and Velvet ages up in one day. So we've got to win the competition tomorrow before Velvet ages up because I don't think we can enter it now. No, we can't. And you have to place in all master divisions in order to qualify. Oh my gosh, so literally it's a, the next part's gonna be so intense. If anyone knows any ways that we can age Velvet down, so if we fail the competition or if Velvet ages up before we go to the competition, we can get around that. And also I just wanna say Velvet is worth 38,000 simoleons, crazy. So just before we finish up this part completely, I'm sure this is a really long part actually. Um, we've had so much to do. I do just want to see now that we've maxed out the nectar making skill, um, what our options are here, because it's meant to be pre-aged. I'm guessing like nothing looks different. So I guess it's just like, oh, sorry, Persephone, <laughs> so hungry. Um, I'm guessing it's just going to start as somewhat aged as soon as we bottle it. Is that what happens? Quality normal, lightly aged. OK, so it starts off as lightly aged. Pretty good. All right, you can eat your yogurt now, Persephone. Yay! All right, oh. well, all right, Cruiser's in need of some fun. So Rose is there to take Cruiser for a ride. All right, you guys, well, I'm gonna end this part right here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any tips for Z Ranch. Oh my God, poor Gouache needs a clean shed. As always, thank you so much to my amazing members. I appreciate you guys so much. If you'd like, but blah, blah, blah. If you'd like to become a member, be sure to click the link in the description down below to get access to in betweenies, extra videos, all of that good stuff, emotes to use in comments and live stream chats. Hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I cannot wait to speak to all of you beautiful people soon. Ta-da!